just come across this block. So right there, I'm pretty sure is a coprolite. It's got a little bit of bone look about it, but it's probably a coprolite. Same as this. And then right down here, look, is a deck. But that's wedged underneath there. I can't move that, so chisel's coming out. Let's get that stuff out and let's see what's in there. Get this little bit out first. Wow, that's hard. So that I don't think was anything. Right, let's get the deck out. Might split in half though this. Well, camera fell over as I was uh, filming that, but as you can see, hold on. There's a deck that was in there, but it's not all preserved. That's going it straight back there. I seem to be in with the look for the wood at the minute. Found a really, really big piece, looks really, really nice. So let's have a look at that. So yeah. It's a big piece of wood. Really big. Hefty too. Looks like there's like a knot there or something. I mean, it'd be nice if there were some ammonites washed up against that. But either way, I'll stick that in the bag. You don't come across pieces like that very often. Fresh nodule. Come on. Oh, there we go. It's Perinoceros right there. So these ammonites from this location, I won't split. Unfortunately, the preservation is never really that great. So it's a case of just prepping and hope for the best. But I mean, as you can see there, there's a couple of little spines or what we call as nodes. So yeah, I'll stick that in the bag. That's a lovely one, that. So for anybody that's watching, please subscribe and like the channel, comment on the videos or whatever. I'm looking to grow this channel this year, in January anyway, we're in December right now, but I'm looking to get bigger. I've got a few ideas for videos that I'm gonna do. I'm aiming to do some decent things this year, find some really rare ammonites, travel all over the place and find some new things, branch out, open my horizons. It's gonna be a fun year, but yeah, hit the subscribe button. Doesn't take much. My videos will come up in your feed if you enjoy watching them more often and you'd have to go searching or just wait for the algorithm to show you anything. And yeah, it'd be greatly appreciated because this is all I wanna do for a living. I enjoy the videos. I show people what you can find, how you can do foss collect fossils. What more do you want? Just want to say massive thank you to everybody that's stayed watching from the very beginning. I've been doing this three years, four years. I'm not really quite sure actually anymore, but yeah, massive thank you to everybody that subscribed, bought items when I had the website open. If you are looking for Ammonites, by the way, you can message me. I'm still doing private sales and whatnot, but the website's done for the, done for the moment. It's too much hassle, too much stress, and I don't want any of that at the minute. So yeah, but if you're looking for anything, private message me on Instagram or comment on the video and I'll get in touch with you and give you the right address to get in touch with me. See if we can sort anything out. Right, back to collecting fossils. Here's a little bivalve shell for you. Some lovely colors on the shell. Might put that in the bag, I might not. I like the way the nodule's broken. I might be able to do something arty and farty with that, but we'll see. Check this little bit out. I think it's a paddle digit from an ichthyosaur. I've just found it on the floor. I'm trying to find the rest of the nodule, see if I can find it. That's miniature in a nodule, that. Never seen one like it before. Really weird. A few little bits washed out in this really, really worn dactylioceros. It almost looks like a semi-salatum, that. But that's no good. But right here is a hildy. But whether it complete or not, Ah, no. Well, it's blown out there, look. I'll still take that back. Might be able to do something with it. Can't beat a Hildy. Just found this, literally laid here, so somebody else has already left it. It's a bit crushed on that side, but, I mean, it's a really nice example of a DAC. I'm almost tempted to take it back, but I probably won't, but that's a really nice one to see, that. And then, as I've turned around from that, where is it? Right there, look. Oh, it's not complete. <laughs> That's typical, that. As you can see, it's all blown out in the middle there. Unfortunately, that won't make the uh, trip back home neither, but another lovely example. I'll tell you something. I do love a Hildy. Look at that little beauty. The mouth board is perfectly complete. Oh, it's what I wanted today too. I wanted a really nice Hildy. It's been a while since I've had one. 
stunner, big size too. Pretty pleased with that. I've been wanting a Hildy for a while and there you go. Gotta keep looking. Just giving this a tap, let's have a look. There's nothing showing all the way around it. It's a very pyritic block, so we'll see. Oh, there we go, look, Dak. Mouth border there, that's where it comes in. That should be all in there. I'll take that back, that's quite pyritic, so that'll look really nice, all cleaned up. Get it. So I've just spotted two Dak's. One's right there, the other one's right there. So let's hope that there's some decent preservation on these. Ah, oh, middle's plenty now. <laughs> yes. So whenever it's like this, like I was saying earlier on, where it's all this middle like this, it's the best way I can describe it, it's a dud. Right, next one. Ah! <laughs> Two in a row. That's unlucky. Damn. Well, you can't win them all. <laughs> I've plenty like that over the years and there'll be plenty more to come. So let's crack on. Let's keep going. Oh, well, this one looks a bit better. Keel's right there. <laughs> Good chance that'll be nice, that one. That's going in my bag. So the layer that holds the Dax must be falling. Look at all these crushed imprints. There's a load there. There's one right there. I'll come back over here, look. They're everywhere. So that must mean that there's more Dax nodules around. So let's go find them. I want them all. So I've had this, po this in my pocket for about half an hour. Look at that! What a beauty! Get in! I am very pleased with that. That's a gorgeous dack. This nodule looks like it's got a lot of potential. Ah, split bad. Ah, no. Mineral vein in it. Oh well, that looked promising. These are the nodules that I love and hate. Like, that looks so, so promising. But I guarantee this is just filled with mineral veins or it splits absolutely terribly. So we'll hit it, but I don't have my hopes up for it. Right, let's go. Ah, split bad. There you go. I called it, didn't I? Look at mineral veins. Well, this is really devastating. So there's a massive keel here. Could be a hildy or could be an overtisserus but with all the mineral content in here, I'm really doubtful that it's gonna even split well or it's even preserved. I'm gonna hit it and hope for the best, but yeah, I don't think this is gonna come out well whatsoever. I'll show you in a moment. So it was as I guessed, there's a big overtisserus here, but there's absolutely nothing preserved. There's a really crushed either Dac or Catecholioceros in there. I mean, it's just all a mess. What a shame. That'd have been a stunner of an ammonite, that. Overtisserus are quite rare too. I've only got one, maybe. I might have two examples, I'm not 100% certain. Definitely got one that's quite a good preserved one. I've got to get more. I want a double, that's what I'm going for next year. Double Overtisserus. Got to have it. I'm having to take cover. It's getting really cold, really windy. No storm coming or anything like that last time. Not that stupid again. But my God, it's cold, it's about one degree. <sighs> I've got one more bay left to search. I've just finished all down there. Hopefully the next bay we'll get a couple more bits. Cause it's been pretty barren today, but it is what it is. You have good days, you have bad days, but you carry on. It's what it's all about, enjoying yourself and doing what you love. So the Hildy that was in the video, let's prep it.
wonderful thing about Hildosa Samanites is that they prepare very, very easily. A lot of the time when you get the little middle cap, let's call it, the rock that's left in the middle, that just pops off like a dream. So let's take a look. So I had to make a decision with this. Do I fully prepare both sides or leave one as is to show you the differences? And so I decided with the latter. So this is the first side. You can see all the mineralization that's happened over millions of years. You can even see the suture patterns here, the inner gas chambers of the ammonite. And then when you flip it over, absolutely beautiful ammonite. So this is what is known as the mouth border. Usually it'll replicate the shell pattern of which way it'll go like that. Very pyritic, as you can tell here in the middle, you can see where all the uh, greeny orange colouring is. But just such a beautiful ammonite. I never get sick and tired of collecting these. And if you enjoy the videos and the content, please subscribe because it helps massively. Appreciate it.